Well, another one of the ranked boxers up next on the red is the Algerian Mohamed Udahi, ranked nine, coming into this uh, competition. Boxing out of the red corner, of course. Red corner generally or always out first. Up against one of the English boxers looking to book himself a spot at the Olympic Games in his own backyard. This is Luke Campbell, 24-year-old out of the St. Paul's Club, coached by Mike Bromby. Residing in Hull. There's the world ranking confirmation for the Algerian boxer, nine. 28th in the 2009, the last world championships in Milan, Italy. In the blue corner. Well, one of nine British boxers that have qualified for this round of 16 so far. The British team cannot be more happy, but the name of the game is to continue that progression. And uh, fingers crossed for Luke Campbell for England to see whether he can make the quarterfinals. What's most important for Luke is that by winning this bout, he should qualify for the London 2012 Olympics. He'll certainly be given a spot. National champion in 2010 seventh of the recent European Championships for Campbell as for the Algerian well he's a soldier 24 years of age Turkmenistan the home country of our referee today now Campbell in the blue what he in the red. Let's see if the English boxer can make it to the Olympics in London. He's got to beat one of the top ten ranked boxers. And... Uh, the boxer who claimed the African Championship this year. Campbell worked well in the preliminary rounds. But the Algerian has come out meaning business here. Fast punches. Looking to unsettle Campbell in the early seconds of this opening round. Calm. Use his reach. Campbell, the taller, and certainly the longer jab. Keep him at bay. Let the Algerian into close fighting. And he then starts to feel a lot more confident. Left hand from uh, Campbell. Up. Keep the head up. The instruction from the referee to the English fighter. Of course, England, Scotland and Wales represented at these World Championships, but they'll all fight under the GB flag as long as they can qualify, of course. And that qualification at these World Championships starts for those boxers that make the quarterfinals. Well, Campbell looked a little unsettled in the first half of this opening round, but now starts to settle. Use the skills, using the jab, the one-two. Get the sense that the Algerian wants to draw in the English fighter close. And turn it into a bit of a scrapping match. Father oh, Campbell, an accurate, skillful boxer, and a good long jab with the left and the one two with the right there. Now, all those need to do is just hit the target. But this is a better second half of the opener for the English boxer. Campbell, seventh in the European Championships in Ankara 
in Turkey earlier this year where a lot of the English Welsh boxers brought home medals and one senses that Campbell's got the measure of the Algerian now it's 15 seconds to go The nerves have settled. It's down to business now for Campbell. And that business seems to be going to plan. There goes the bell, end of the first round. Well, after a nervous opening 10, 20 seconds, by the end of the three minutes, Luke Campbell settles his composure, scores some decent points and goes one ahead of the Algerian. Four to three for Luke Campbell in the blue corner against Mohamed Udahi in the red. Very closely matched, just one point separating the two. I think if Campbell can adopt the skill, use his range to his advantage in the second round. And I'm sure those are the words that he's hearing from the ringside coaches. Only one of the five judges had the Algerian fighter ahead of Campbell. But of course, the highest and the lowest marks disregarded, and it's the mean average of the three that are kept. Round two, Campbell has a one-point advantage, looking for a spot in the quarterfinals. But wait for the celebrations, because Luke Campbell may have done enough to qualify for the London 2012 Olympics. And there's nothing more special than qualifying for your host games just under a year in advance. Well, Oadi is certainly not going to let this one go without... 100% effort because he really is looking to get in close to Campbell. Campbell just needs to pick him off with the jab and move away. A lot smaller than Campbell. Tricky customer, but there's a good right hook from the Englishman. And again, keep those combinations coming. Past the halfway point of the second round and still looking good for Campbell. the cries from the English corner to keep those combinations going and there's a good right hook from the Englishman that's points on the board minutes ago for the Algerian <laughs> looks to be a good round for Luke Campbell once again oh and that is Bad news for the Algerian, great news for Campbell, a warning which adds two points to Luke Campbell's score. You see the referee giving the indication to each of the judges, letting them know that that's a warning against Oadi. Just got to see this round out now. There's the end of round two. And now it's 10 to 6 to the English boxer.
the Algerian giving away two points to Campbell for the warning. And that really does put Luke Campbell now in a very strong position to see out this bout and go through to the quarterfinals in the bantamweight division. Six three four that round, and after two, ten six four point advantage. Campbell needs to hold on to that, build on it if possible. Now Mohamed Odahi for Algeria will need to risk everything here and. You can't blame him for getting caught once or twice trying to get in at Campbell, who has boxed very skillfully. He's kept him at reach, used his height, used his reach advantage. And allowed the errors to be forced upon the Algerian. Now, a four-point buffer, confidence is high now for Luke Campbell. Let him turn it into a scrap, keep away from the infighting. That's the Algerian speciality. And for Campbell, keep it clean now. It's a good score. the halfway point and Luke Campbell again accuracy and speed is there keeping the Algerian at full reach great stuff from the English boxer stays focused gets himself out of that corner Covers up well, Luke Campbell. Doesn't allow the Algerian to keep on going. Under a minute. And is Britain's Luke Campbell on his way to the London Olympic Games? For me, it looks like the work has been done. Again, another good jab. And an effective left hook. Hits the target, scores the points. This is just what we wanted Luke Campbell to do. Box and box to a high skill level. Keep calm. 20 seconds. Well, the few British supporters that are here in Azerbaijan are now on their feet because this young lad has been drawn against a very tricky customer in this round of 16. But he's not allowed himself to be drawn in. He's not been allowed to turn this into a scrap. He's boxed his box skillfully. And it looks like Luke Campbell for England has boxed his way to the quarterfinals. Four-point advantage for Luke Campbell coming into the third and final round. And for me, he's won the third as well. For the first of the nine British boys that have qualified to this round of 16, Luke Campbell books himself a spot in the quarterfinals and also books himself a spot at the London Olympic Games for 2012. And as an Englishman, this is a very special moment for Luke Campbell. 4-3, 6-3, 11-9.
is the total score for the British and English boxer. Yes, sir. Turn number two, please. 